Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Log of x minus log of 2 equals 1, and we need to solve it. Now these logs have the same base of 10. Our formula here, the second part down here, says if we have a log of m minus log of n, it's equal to log of m divided by n. And we have that here. We can adapt that. So it's subtracting, so we can say the log now, we can combine this, of x minus log of 2 is log of x divided by 2. And that's equal to 1. From there, what I said was this is a log base 10. When it's not written, it's going to be a 10. We now use our formula here. Our base 10, our b value, is going to be raised, or we have a power raised right there of what it's equal to, and that's just the 1. And that's equal to what's in the inside of the logarithm, the a value, which is an x over 2. Well, 10 to the first power is 10. It's fine. We multiply both sides by 2. And 10 times 2 is a 20. And that's just equal to our x. And so x equals 20 is my final answer. We're given this problem right here. Log base 9 of x plus 6 minus log base 9 of x is equal to log base 9 of 2. And we need to solve this equation. Well, our rules tell us we get a log with the same base and we're subtracting them, right? Log base at, uh, log of m minus log of n is the same as log of m divided by n. So we can take the inside part, that x and the x plus 6, and we can divide them by each other. So we have log here, base 9, of one big inside part, which is an x plus 6, this part, divided by the second part, which is just the x. Okay? And that's equal to a log base 9 of 2. Well, we have the same base of 9. So we have log of the same base, and it's equal to each other. We can set the, what we're taking the log of now just equal to each other and ignore the logs. So we have an x plus 6 over 2 is equal to a 2. Uh, sorry, x, x plus 6 over an x. Oh, if you caught that, let me know down in the comment section. All right. Well, to do that, and multiply to solve this. Multiply both sides by an x. And so I have a x plus 6 equals 2x. Let's combine our like terms. I'm going to subtract an x to both sides. And I have a positive 6 here. And 2x minus 1x is just an x. And so my final answer here is x equals a 6. We're given this problem right here. Log base 6 of x plus 1 minus log base 6 of x is equal to log base 6 of 29. And we're going to solve this equation. Our rules tell us when we have logs with the same base and we're subtracting them, we can combine them as one logarithm and divide the insides. So we're going to do that. We're going to take this part right here on the left-hand side, log base 6 now, and we're going to combine these two insides with division, an x plus 1 over an x, okay? And that's equal to a log base 6 of 29. Well, again, we have log base 6 and a log base 6. When that happens, we can take what we're taking the log of, if it's equal to and there's nothing else there, and we can set them equal to each other. x plus 1 over x here is equal to 29. Now we just solve for x. Multiply x to both sides, and x plus 1 now, this cancels, is equal to 29x. Subtract so x to both sides, and we have 1 now is equal to 29 minus 1, which is 28 x. Don't forget that. Now we divide both sides by 28, and we have x by itself here. I'll write it as 1 over 28, and that's it. That is our final answer. We're given this problem right here. The natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 3x plus 2, and that's equal to 1, and we have to solve this equation. Now this is a special one. It's going to be a little difficult. This is the same, we're going to use this formula right here. We're subtracting a log with the same base, in this case it's base e, we'll see that in a little bit. And in doing so, we can combine it to be one logarithm, but with division on the inside. So, this can become the natural log of 2 divided by the 3x plus 2, and that's going to equal the 1. And remember when I said natural log is equal to log base e? We're going to need that here. So we have the log 
base e instead of natural log of 2 over 3x plus 2. Now, you won't always have to do this step, but it makes it a little easier to see. From there, we're going to use our top formula. Our base is e, and so we have that b value, e. We're going to raise it to what we're equal to, which is 1, which is nice. And that's going to be equal to what we're taking the logarithm of, our a value, which is that 2 over 3x plus 2. Okay? From there, okay, it's a little tricky. We want to get x by itself, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to multiply the 3x to both sides, a 3x plus 2 to both sides, like so. That cancels, and we're left with, well, e times a 3x plus 2, and that's equal to 2. I'm going to divide both sides by e, as such, and I have 3x plus 2 equals 2 over e. Okay, almost there. Let's subtract the 2 to both sides. What do we get? I'm going to put that up here. Let's get some space here. So we have 3x, uh, ah, I wrote a 2. Getting ahead of myself here. That's all right. Take our time. No need to rush this. 3x is equal to now 2 over e, and that's minus a 2. Okay? Well, I want to combine these, and so if I subtract a 2, I don't have the same base, but if I multiply this by an e over e, I will. So it's like a minus 2 is the same as minus a 2e over e. We now have 3x equals, combine it, 2 minus 2e over 1e right there. We want to get the 3 over to the right hand side, so I'm going to multiply this by a 1 third to both sides. That cancels a 3, x is by itself. We have a 2 minus a 2e still in the numerator, and e times 3 is a, well, a uh, 3e, drawing a blank right there. Okay. Whew. Either way, our final answer here is nothing really more we can do to simplify this, as x equals 2 minus 2e over a 3e. We're given this problem right here, the natural log of negative 3x minus 1 minus natural log of 7 is equal to 2, and we need to solve this equation. Well, natural log is log base e, and we have the same ones right here. So in doing so, we can use our formula. Log of m minus log of n can be combined to one logarithm, and we divide the insides. So let's go do that here. Natural log of what well, we have a negative 3x minus 1 divided by that 7 now is equal to 2. And remember what I said, natural log is log base e? Let's see that. Log base e of negative 3x minus 1 over 7, and that's equal to 2. With that, we use our formula here. Let's convert that to the top part. Our base is e here, the b value, and we're raising it to what our logarithm is equal to, which is an x, or here x, which is a 2. And that's going to be equal to what's the inside of the logarithm, the a value. Negative 3x minus 1 over a 7. Well, here, we want to get um, <coughs> x by itself. So multiply both sides by a 7 here, and I have a 7. e squared is equal to negative 3x minus 1. And add a 1 to both sides, and I have a 7. e squared equals negative 3x. I'm going to finish that up here. So I rewrite that 7e squared is equal to negative 3x. I want to divide both sides now by, oh sorry, e squared plus 1. Oof, I almost forgot that when I brought it up there. See, got to be careful. Let's take our time there, plus 1 down here. Divide both sides by a negative 3. Well, that's equal to our x, and we have a 7e squared plus 1 over a negative 3. I like to have the negative written in the numerator, so I'm going to take this positive, make that positive, and multiply the whole numerator by a negative 1. Let's flip it around, but x first. Negative in front, so negative 7e squared. It gets distributed to the both sides, both parts, so we have a minus 1. Now instead of a positive 1, that's over a positive 3. And so now our final answer here is x equals negative 7e squared minus 1 over 3. We're given this problem right here. The natural log of x minus 3 minus natural log of x minus 5 is equal to natural log of 5, and we have to solve this equation. Notice here we have our second part. 
We're subtracting two logs with the same base, and natural log is a log base e. We can combine that to be one logarithm, and we divide the insides. So let's go do that. Natural log, I take the x minus 3 over that x minus 5. And that's equal to the natural log of 5 right there. Again, now we have natural log and natural log. They're equal to each other. And there's nothing else really there. When that happens, we can set the insides equal to each other. So we have an x minus 3 here over x minus 5 is equal to just a 5. Not too bad. I'm going to multiply x minus 5 to both sides, like so. This cancels, and we have an x minus 3 equals, distribute that, 5x minus a 25. Now, let's go combine our like terms together. I'm going to subtract an x to both sides and add a 25. Remember, we're solving for x. Negative 3 plus 25 is a 22. And that's equal to uh, 5x minus x, which is a 4x. From there, divide both sides by 4, and 22 over 4 simplifies to be 11 over 2. That's equal to x. And so my final answer is x equals 11 over 2. We're given this problem right here. Natural log of 4x plus 1 minus natural log of 3. That's equal to 5. And we get to solve this equation. Well, remember, natural log is the same as a log base e. So we have that here, and we're subtracting it. Okay, And our formula says we can combine it to be one logarithm. We just divide the insides. So we can rewrite this to be natural log of 4x plus 1 over that 3, and that's equal to 5. Now remember when I said natural log is log base e. So log base e of a 4x plus 1 over 3, and that's equal to 5. From there, we're going to use this formula. Our base is our e value right here. All right, we're going to convert it to up top, and we're raising it to what our logarithm is equal to, the fifth power. And that's going to be equal to what's on the inside, the a value, 4x plus 1 over 3. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, and we're left with 3e to the fifth power equals 4x plus 1. I'm going to rewrite that up here, all right, give me some space, and I'm going to flip it around. 4x plus 1 first is equal to 3e to the fifth power, just a little easier to see. Subtract a 1 to both sides, and I have a 4x now is equal to 3e to the fifth power minus 1. Divide both sides by 4. x is now by itself, which is our goal, and that's equal to 3e to the fifth power minus 1 over 4, and that is it. That is our final answer. Hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com